Hey, what's up everyone? This is Snicked, back with another Royal Revolt 2 video. Thanks for joining me. Today is August 27th, and this morning, during Flair's regularly scheduled maintenance break in the game, whatever other tweaks they made or whatever back-end fixes that they, uh, that they used the maintenance break to accomplish, um, players are noticing and commenting uh, with anger <laughs> and frustration on Facebook especially that uh, noticing that Flair did remove the one gym trick from the game. And so the one gym trick really probably doesn't need any introduction. Uh, most active players use it. Um, it's a way, in a nutshell, to really accelerate the rate at which you farm gold. Um, and so all that's required to do it, you don't have to be on a specific platform, whether Windows, Android, or iOS devices. Uh, anyone can do it. All that's really required to do it is the possession of at least one gem, which is uh, something that really any player is able to, is able to accomplish. So. Um, since most of you are familiar with it, I won't get into great details around the mechanics of what the one gym trick was, especially now that it's gone away, but I do want to provide a brief explanation of what it was, uh, some ideas as to why this change was made. Um, I think there's the there are the usual explanations, but um, I want to kind of go through a few different scenarios here because it might not all be bad, and this might be preparation for good things to come, uh, so I want everybody to consider that. And then I will... Uh, We'll go ahead and do a raid and demonstrate how the one gym trick has been has been changed or has has been removed from the game. So in a, a nutshell, the one gym trick, as I said, gives you the ability to reset the loot algorithm or the way that loot is is calculated, so that as you farm for gold or as you raid the same base over and over or a variety of different bases. Um, over, over a succession of raids, normally your loot would go down. So say for example, we'll look here at the number two player on the leaderboard, Stateless Body. Right now I'm able to get around 209,000 from Stateless Body. Now if I went in and attacked Stateless Body um, this time, I get 209,000 for a full victory. The next time around, I might only get 180,000. And then if I went in and did it again, the next time around I might only get 130,000. And so over a succession of raids uh, in, in a short duration of time, the system will kind of decrementally um, alter the amount of loot that you can get or will reduce the amount of loot that you can get um, on successive raids. And so there's a few different um, reasons for why that mechanic has been in place. I don't know that it has, has always been all that effective, but it substantially amount, uh, reduces the amount of loot that you're able to farm. There's two ways to reset the loot so that it would then pop back up to this, you know, this 209,000 figure that we're looking at now. One is to just let time elapse, and that could be, I, I don't know the exact amount of time, I've never actually calculated it or seen anyone um, mention it, but it probably is at least a couple of hours, maybe even four hours before uh, the loot that I would get from Stateless Body, in this case, would naturally revert to the highest amount of loot that I'm able to get from him. <clears throat> and uh, and so there's there's doing that, there's, um, there's letting time pass by in order for loot to revert higher back to the highest figure. Or there's using the one gym trick. And basically the one gym trick uh, is just the use of, of at least one gym. It could be more than one gym. It could be 10,000 gems. Um, but the use of at least one gem, and by spending at least one gem, it triggers some kind of a, a loophole or some kind of a some kind of variable in the loot algorithm, so that whatever amount of loot you're getting, I would be getting from Stateless Body at that moment. If I spent just one gem, it would reset it so that I would be back up to the max amount of loot that I could get from this base, and that has been um, the benefit of the one gym trick and the one gym trick has really been um, has really been essential to farming gold in an efficient manner especially with large upgrades and um, and so without the one gym trick in the absence of anything else from flair to compensate for that the task of of grinding or or farming for loot especially for large upgrades without a gold shield has been has been made incredibly difficult um, and, and almost impossible. There are some people that will be able to do it and sit and farm uh, in one sitting, but the uh, there's a law of diminished returns now 
so that you know you might get down to where you're only looting, I don't know, uh, one hundred thousand or even down to fifty thousand loot from bases that when uh, when the loot tables reset, you get two hundred fifty or three hundred thousand gold from. So it's a huge waste of your food, um, especially if you don't have Facebook invites. So it's a huge waste of your food um, because whereas I might get two hundred thousand from Stateless Body right now for spending two hundred twenty-three food. You know, 10 battles from now, if I can't do a one gym trick, I might only be getting 50,000 from Stateless Body, but guess what? I'm still spending 223 food. I can still do Facebook invites, so it's not as big of a deal for me, but for people that don't have that ability, especially on Windows, um, I won't say it's a slap in the face, but um, it's made the game exceptionally difficult. And as Jason Weibar has said recently, it makes it just makes the game feel more like work. Um, and there is some work uh, involved in being active and doing and doing well in this game. But if if the rewards and the incentives aren't there, then um, then there really is no reason to go through with doing it. So um, anyway, that that's the one gym trick in a nutshell, and that's the reason why the one gym trick has always been really beneficial to have around. Um, some updates, some some reasons uh, for why um, this might have been done. Uh, one, it may have been unintentional, as the loot nerf was last week, which Flair, to the credit, did communicate really well on and promptly corrected. And I believe that they even changed the loot algorithm so that, in general, the amount of loot uh, that we get um, is higher than it was previously. But whether or not that's your experience, they did they did respond very attentively and very quickly to, to fix that. So this might be another example where whatever they did today was unintentional because they didn't announce it and I would think that they would be especially sensitive uh, to players um, and they would pre-announce any kind of changes even if they were negative like removing the one gym trick um, on either Facebook or on their get satisfaction forum because they know and and they've just seen last week how springing a negative change to loot uh, <laughs> uh, it gets gets a, a very a very negative response from players and so um, I have to believe that this was either unintentional, A, <clears throat> excuse me, or this is in preparation for the update that's coming up. So in the update, uh, where there will be a single player campaign, a PVE campaign where you can play player versus environment, which will have something to do with the mummy, the ogre, and the werewolf, uh, the monsters that we've seen uh, Flair presenting and kind of advertising on Facebook uh, in, over the past week or two. <clears throat> so it's possible that there will be a mechanic inside the PVE or the single player campaign that's part of the update coming up where we'll be able to accumulate food and accumulate gold through that. So the timing of this is such that it looks like this may be in preparation for some other solution to the Facebook food problem and 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 now this this problem of removing the one gym trick. So ideally, hopefully part of this, or all of this, the issues surrounding food and surrounding um, the one gym trick now, are going to be remedied or are going to be fixed by the loot mechanics and the reward mechanics that are part of the coming update. So I would just counsel you guys, um, instead, of, instead of getting incredibly upset or frustrated, um, the, way that, the way that it was done, if that's the case and Flair didn't announce it, um, there's no way to sugarcoat that, that really sucks. Um, I don't appreciate that it was done in that way either. They should be more communicative and proactive about letting us know about huge updates to loot mechanics like this, since this is um, you know a huge aspect of the game. And accumulating gold is really the is really the the primary task of the game. So a huge change to that like this is something that they should have communicated. But I would counsel you guys to wait for the update before you make any kind of rash comments <laughs> or decisions uh, because it's possible that what was done here today um, you know as as botched as maybe as as it was without them communicating it um, is something that has been done that's ultimately going to be constructive and is ultimately going to be beneficial once the updates rolled out uh, so what I'll go ahead and do here I'm getting two hundred thousand eight hundred eighty four gold from stateless body right now I'm gonna go in and attack stateless body if I can okay and then um, I'll demonstrate how the one gym trick can no longer be used. So again, 209,000 uh, here. I'm just going to do what I hope will be a quick 
and successful raid of Stateless Body. Who, after a long period of time of not uh, updating their base, has actually done so, and their base has actually gotten a lot more difficult than it was in the past. So, um, I'm hoping that we can get through this relatively easily. What I'm going to do here is just tag each of these Firebolt Towers so that my Pyromancers come up behind and attack them. Move on here. So Stateless Body is, a, is an example of a base uh, where it is a very difficult base um, if you don't have a sequence for how you attack it. Um, and that's true uh, of any base really at any level of the game. Where if you if you don't have kind of a, a plan and a sequence, uh, you know, of where you're using specific spells at specific times and that kind of thing, then it can be really difficult to get through the base without getting killed the way that I'm about to right now. <laughs> so, um, so that's always something to keep in mind when you're when you're raiding uh, bases over and over again, kind of on a successive basis. Is that there is typically um, a way to raid a base, probably without scrolling. But um, it does it does sometimes take a little while to figure to figure that out. Um, and so successive raids will help you kind of get a sequence down. I'm just going to stand here and regenerate some health before I go up to the gate. As you can see, I have a huge group of, um, of pyromancers and uh, and archers or our blasters rather coming up behind me here that will. Hopefully, we'll find out once we um, once we finish the raid. But we'll hopefully sweep through and have taken care of um, of any firebolt towers that I left behind. But as you can see, they did. Um, I hardly even tapped two of those firebolt towers, but by by tagging them, um, tagging them or attacking them with a spell, uh, but not bringing them down, actually increases the chance that the the targeting AI of the game will cause your units to focus on on those towers and we'll and so that's a huge a huge time saver <clears throat> and um, probably something a lot of you guys are familiar with but would probably be worthy of a different video so anyway back to the topic at hand um, we did the um, we did uh, st stateless bodies base uh, we got two hundred eight thousand eight hundred eighty four so basically two hundred nine thousand gold and now we're down to one hundred thirty two or one hundred thirty three thousand so a huge decrease um, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to see whether or not we go from 132,000 back up to 208,000 or more by attempting to do the one gem trick. And so what I'll just do here, this isn't typically the way that I do this, but I'm going to boost my... Okay, that's probably close enough. I'm going to use more than one gem, but just so that I don't actually hit 800 and screw this up. So I'm going to use five gems in this case. So you recall, we went from 209,000 down to about 132, 133,000 on Stateless Bodies base in one raid. Now, using this this trick before this update, this should boost me back up into the 200,000s. So I'll click Get Food here. That brings me back up to uh, 800 food. And by using gems, it should then have reset the loot table for me on Stateless Body. But let's see what happens. So I go in, and it actually... Well, it didn't do anything. So it took me from like 133,000 to 144. That could just be a function of going out and then back into his base, which sometimes that actually adjusts the loot. So you can see there, that's, you know, uh, evidence plain as day that the one gym trick has been removed from the game. The question of why, whether it was an accident or whether uh, it was constructive, um, and by that I mean in preparation for the update to come, where there will be additional opportunities for food and loot remains to be seen, but that is the removal of the one gym trick. If you have any insights or thoughts on the removal of the one gym trick and what's coming next uh, in the game as far as the loot goes, feel free to leave a comment here on YouTube or hit me up out on Facebook. Thanks guys.